Here I'm going to show you how to use the autocorrect feature in Excel 2007. And this is the second part of the tips and tricks in Excel 2007, I guess you could say series. And right here I have exactly how you can get to the autocorrect options in Excel 2007. So you go to the office button, then Excel options, proofing, autocorrect options. I'll talk about that more in a second. And um, if you want to download this spreadsheet, simply go to teachexcel.com and you can view the video and get the spreadsheet there. So now if you're not sure what autocorrect is, it's a feature in Excel and also Word that's going to automatically correct any misspellings you have. The problem is that every misspelling isn't put into the autocorrect feature and it's obviously not personalized. So if you misspell certain words all the time that aren't in autocorrect, it's going to, well, it's going to look bad on you in Excel. And the other problem is whereas Word is going to have a red underline under misspelled words, Excel will not. So it's more important here. Now let's take a look at the sample data on sheet one. We have sales, daily sales for April, just sample stuff, and say it's a little bit volatile. So I want to write something down here. Now I know that I always misspell unusual. So say I misspell unusual with two L's. Autocorrect is not going to correct that. But what I want to write is that the these are unusual sales figures for April or the month of April, whatever. The point is I'm writing unusual and I'm a bad speller so I don't know that unusual is misspelled here. So I want to add unusual to the autocorrect feature. Now to show you just what autocorrect is going to look like, say I misspelled until with three L's. As soon as I hit the space bar, it's spelled correctly. So that's what we want to happen with this spelling of unusual. Now to do this, we want to go to the office button up here, then go to Excel options. From there, go to the proofing tab and click the autocorrect options button. On this screen, make sure you're on the autocorrect tab and down here you're going to see a list of everything that Excel is going to autocorrect for you. This is what it looks like when it comes straight to you. Now we want to add a word unusual. So in the first box put how you commonly misspell it U-N-U-S-U-A-L-L -L, and then in the box on the right put how it is supposed to be spelled. So U-N-U-S-U-A-L only one L then click the add button and you'll see it right down here in the list click OK click OK and now if I misspell unusual with two L's as soon as I hit the space bar it's gonna be correct only one L so if I retype this sentence these are unusual as soon as I hit the space bar it fixed it for me so sales figures for April. So that's how you can use the autocorrect feature to make sure that words that you specifically misspell aren't misspelled in uh, Excel when you submit documents or anything like that. Now the other thing that you may want to do is to delete some items that autocorrect is automatically going to change. For instance, if you do parentheses C parentheses and hit enter, it changes that to a C with a circle around it. But maybe you don't want that to happen and it's very annoying. So all you have to do, let's go back to autocorrect, so office button, then Excel options, then proofing, autocorrect options, and you can search for it or type it in up here and it's going to find it, but we can see that C is right here. So simply select whatever you want to delete, then click delete, select OK, then OK. And now, whenever I do parentheses C parentheses and hit enter, it doesn't go to this symbol. So that's how you can add and delete words and symbols from autocorrect in order to uh, make your spreadsheets look more professional and so you don't have misspellings on them. Now, if you want to get this spreadsheet, simply go to teachexcel.com, search for this video, and you can get the spreadsheet there.